It was just so fun. We had to get up really early, but everybody was bright eyed. <laughs> Her friends and family being in that house, getting ready. The little girls, our grandchildren were just great. I would just look around and smile. You just knew it was gonna be a great day. Kristen was always just a joy, like a ray of sunshine. We always called her our bright light, just always spreading joy, happiness, wears her heart on her sleeve. Luke was always very, very happy, very joyous. Nothing got him down, but he's very quiet. That's why at the wedding, I was just really happy because he was so happy. I like never see him so glowing like he was that day. Growing up, Abby and I have worked with Kristen as not only our older sister, but an inspiring role model and a sincere best friend. Thank you for setting an extraordinary example for us in how to be confident, giving, compassionate, loving, and most importantly, trendy. <laughs> Lizzie and I can only hope to be nearly as selfless, inspirational, and beautiful as Kristen is one day. You've always had faith in us, and it has showed us how to have faith in each other. And without that quality of yours, our lives would not be the same. And Luke, we want to thank you for bringing our sister a life of happiness since the moment you two met. I truly mean it when I say that Kristen is a more joyful and glowing person because of you. Your dedication and passion is inspiring, and your heart shows in all you do. In all seriousness, we cannot be more happy to welcome you into the family. Kristen, I cannot believe this day is finally here. It is hard to put into words how much I love you and how lucky I am to be marrying the best girl in the entire world. I can easily say that meeting you was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. You are everything to me. I am so excited to continue our life journey together and I know that nothing will get in our way. I love you so much, Kristen. Now it's time to celebrate. He wrote, I cried when I wrote this. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Luke, I am the luckiest girl in the world. Being loved by you is my greatest win. Not many people have the chance to marry their very best friend. And I know in my heart, we are going to have a beautiful future together. So let's get married in front of everyone we love and have the best day ever. You are the only one I will ever love. Love you forever, Kristen. <laughs> Beautiful ladies. I love you. I love you too. Are we ready to get going? Yes. Let's get this thing done. How do I look? <laughs> Beauty. Oh gosh. Thanks. Yeah, great. You look marvelous. Don't hit me too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Not <so good>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's raise our glasses to the new Mr. and Mrs. Mulvaney. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Luke and Kristen, I welcome all of you, their families and their friends, as we gather in the presence of Almighty God, asking that he look lovingly upon this couple as they begin today their lives together as husband and wife. My son is marrying a beautiful girl in Sea Isle, and so I married my sweetheart in Sea Isle, and I met my husband in Sea Isle, and now all the memories we've had there all these years, and now it just came completely flooding back, and just how special everything was. I just loved everything. Blessed are you, O God, of our fathers. Praise be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support 
and from these two the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her and allow us to live together to a happy old age. There was a time that we were at the shore and Kristen was upset about something, you know, just a little emotional. And she was sitting on a chair and kind of her head in her hands. And he went over to her and just leaned over and just made her laugh and just showed such concern. And I thought, uh, you know, that this is it, that they have something special. And it just warmed my heart. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests, it is not quick tempered, it does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Luke held it together. He just looked very, very happy and at peace. That's what I noticed. I looked down and I saw her dad and her walking down. Ray was so happy with big, beautiful smiles. Just seeing the two of them brought such joy, such emotion, it was beautiful. Welcome. Welcome, all of you. This is just an amazing day. So, Kristen, life is full of moments. At one point in your journey, you found your way to Catholic University. And somehow, that little cardinal found another cardinal. And it was just nourished in the salt air of Sea Isle City. All these years, I thought they were sitting on the stand saving lives. <laughs> Turns out they were just sitting on the stands making memories. I watched my siblings grow up and set an example for me. That was especially true for Luke. I was lucky to have Luke as a role model. He's honest, loyal, and confident. Maybe too confident. <laughs> I've always trusted Luke because he's so sure of himself. If there's something he doesn't know, he'll definitely admit it. And he's adamant about what he knows is right, what's cool, and what's best. I'll tell you about the day that I met Kristen. I was visiting Luke at Catholic his second year, and I remember exactly where we were. Right outside Opus Hall on a sunny day, Luke said, this is Kay Wall. She's the best. <laughs> And I knew right away this was somebody really special to Luke. And Luke's intuition, as much as I hate to admit it, is almost always spot on. And he picked a good one in Kristen. Anyone who knows Kristen will be the first to tell you how good she is at showing up. She just has a sixth sense of when someone is feeling down or needs extra support, and she finds a way to be there. What a joy it has been for me to watch her fall in love with someone who has her back, like she has mine. After we both graduated from Villa, Kristen channeled her competitive fire into a college basketball career at Catholic University. And that was the first time I ever heard her talk about a certain Luke Mulvaney. They were both on the basketball team at Catholic and they were just really good friends. But as a casual observer, I couldn't help but to notice that they kept crossing paths. Besides being on the basketball team at Catholic, they both were planning to be lifeguards at Seattle, which I was like, okay. Still, just friends for multiple summers until enough nights at the OD and a few Marita's ice creams later. And the rest, as they say, is history. Kristen and Luke, don't worry about those days past, they're gone. 
There's nothing to worry about. And who knows what tomorrow brings. So live in the moment, and may your moments be full of laughter and love, duty and discipline, and most especially faith, family, and friends. To the Mulvaney's! Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy marriage, as your right hands are joined, you now declare your consent before God and his church. I, Luke, take you, Kristen, to be my wife. I take you, Kristen, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Kristen, take you, Luke, to be my husband. I, Kristen, take you, Luke, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Kristen, receive this ring. Kristen, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Luke, receive this ring. Luke, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Luke and Kristen, I feel so incredibly lucky to have watched your love blossom into what it is now. You guys truly let each other be each other. And I know I speak for all of us gathered here tonight when I say that we wish you nothing but a lifetime of happiness. So cheers. Come on, baby. Luke he knows I like funky music. He said, Mom, this band is so fabulous. They assure me that you won't sit down. And I didn't. I didn't sit down one song. You know, Kristen has been waiting for me to break down and have an emotional moment. She doesn't believe that I do that. The reality of it is, I had, the day she was born, the most amazing emotional moment. My heart just filled with joy and love. And it's been full of moments ever since then. She is an amazing woman, Luke, an amazing woman. Seeing Mrs. Mulvaney, Elise, and Luke dance, I just love that song. It was just beautiful and it was fun and seeing what they share as a mother and son, you know, was really special. He just seems completely content and ready to go on the next step of his life. I know they're looking for a house. I just see it filled with children and hopefully a lot of basketball and good memories. I see a lot of faith, a lot of family, and all good things. Oh, 
Oh, I, I see a life of joy, laughter, happiness. I see them sticking together through thick and thin. I see them being best of friends. I see them laughing together and tackling life as it comes. Jesus Christ, our creator and savior, is our ultimate source of prayer, love, and concern. We ask him today for his special blessing on Kristen and Luke so that their love for one another increases each day and that they share that with every soul in here. Goodness, kindness, and justifiable concern for others in true need can be infectious. Don't miss out on it. Amen. Now gives me great personal joy to pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. The reality of it is <laughs> that I had, the day she was born, the most amazing emotional moment. I wish you all could have seen it, though the delivery room would have been crowded. <laughs> So if I do start to ramble, I apologize, and you can just do what my family does and wait for it to make sense in the end. Hopefully. They say opposites attract. So Luke's grandpa personality and Kristen's 21-year-old mentality are the perfect match. It's a product of Italy. Wow. Except I am. Um, what year? Uh, well, this is obviously a 2020. <laughs> Did I taste it? I'm kidding. Maybe you always tell me you're going to marry. Yes. I said you can have them. Which one of your girls are the most troublemaker? Oh. <laughs> Lauren with the martini. Oh. Let us know when you want some help. Yeah. Greg, did you into Catholic? Woo! Woo! Greg, if you're a Miller girl. Woo! Woo! Greg, if you're hot. Woo! Woo! Greg, if you love her, too. Who's the good judge? Oh, am I allowed to do that? <laughs> Another thing about Luke. I did mention he's always sure of himself, right? Uh, I know this because whenever he's doing even some trivial task, like household chores, bubble letters, and my favorite, cooking bacon, he has to say, I'm the best at this. I'm the best at cooking bacon. I'm the best at mowing the lawn. I am the best at cleaning the gutters. Now let's break it up! Are you ready? <laughs>